Hi mascot kiddos, today I have not one but two art projects for you to do at home. Our first project today takes a drab and boring piece of paper and uses paint and household items to turn it into this beautiful masterpiece. Using the same style of painting we learned to use to make this art, we're gonna make our initials. The first letter of our name. Mine's a K for cat. Two different art projects in one video. Let's get started. To start off, you'll need a few different colors of paint. You'll need a few different sizes of circles to use for this project. I'll be using Q-tips, cotton balls with clothespins so there's less of a mess, a straw, and two toilet paper rolls, both cut in half. Because I'm using four different colors, I'll have four of each of my objects. And finally, you'll need a piece of paper. I'm using black cardstock so that you can see it on my white table and so that it's a little bit thicker, but any color will work. We're gonna start off with our cotton balls. We'll do one color at a time so that we don't make a mess. I'll start with pink and put a spot there. Put a spot here. Next, I'll do a couple of teal. One, two. Now I'm gonna do orange. And for our last cotton ball color, we'll do green. Next, we'll use our Q-tips. It's already starting to look pretty cool. Now I'm gonna move on to toilet paper rolls. With these, you'll wanna make sure you cover the whole rim, like this. So you'll press it on, and lift straight up and you'll make a circle. Next, I'm gonna use green. These look super cool when they overlap. Now orange. And last, we'll do teal. Next, we're gonna use our straws. Whenever you place the straw down, you kinda wanna wiggle it around a little bit on the paper so you get your circle. Each print of the straw you do will probably look different from the other ones. And that's why it's so cool. We'll finish off with green. And now we let it dry. For this mini project, you'll need a piece of paper. I'm using dark blue cardstock, at least two different colors of paint, masking tape or painter's tape, and cotton balls. The first thing you wanna do is take your tape and tape out the first letter of your name. My name starts with a K, so I'm gonna make a K out of tape. So now I have my K. If the letter you're doing is round, you can use lots of little pieces to make it round, or you can make it more of a square shaped letter. I like to leave a little bit of tape on the end so I can tape it to my desk so that I know it won't move while I'm painting it. So for this one, all you're gonna do is take some paint on your cotton ball and dab it all over your paper. It's totally okay to cover your letter because at the end we're gonna peel off the tape and we should be left with a blank spot where our letter is. With this project, we wanna add a lot of layers of colors. This to me kinda of looks like camo, so if you wanna make yours camouflage, that would work perfectly with this. And if you have more toilet paper rolls or straws or Q-tips, you can totally go over this with those too. I'm gonna add a little bit more orange. So now we've gotta let this dry and then we'll take the tape off. So now that our paint on this is dry, we can start peeling off the tape. Make sure you do this carefully so you don't rip the paper. And there you go. Cece, what do you think? What do you think? Okay. So now that this is dry, let's check on our circle collage. Look how neat it is. All the texture, different colors, super cool. 
And just like the last art, you can make these however you want. Use whatever colors, whatever shapes, whatever letter. You could do numbers. The possibilities are endless. I hope you had fun getting creative with me today. I'll see you next time.